Good. Uh, what is it? Afternoon? Good afternoon, guys. Hi. <laughs> How are we this wonderful Monday morning? All right, I'm just going to finish up my brows while you guys jump on because we got to do this because this look might take a little while. Guys, challenge me a little bit. I couldn't even find the color that I was going to use until like five minutes before this live because I, I did not have the color. I had to like look in all my old palettes and I finally came up with the color. Hi, good morning, good afternoon. Whatever it is, it's a Monday. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Kelsey. It's a Monday, guys. It's the beginning of the new week. It's time for a, a clean start for the week. Hey, girl. Hi, Holly. Good afternoon. So... I am drinking my co coffee. I didn't, I didn't finish drinking it yet, so I'm still drinking it. I am just going to do my brows real quick here so we can get started because this look might take a little while. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as I can, but I have an idea of what I'm going to do. But I don't know how it's going to turn out. Hi, Aunt Jay! What's up, lady? Excuse me. <laughs> so how are all my friends in Facebook land feeling? Are we having a good day already? Hi, Allie. Good afternoon. All right, let's go ahead and do this little, this little brow right here. Let's get this brow done right here. <clears throat> I got my face done, you guys. I just didn't do my brows. All fine beauty. Oh, she's so sweet. So, you guys, oh my goodness, I, this one girl at my job, her, uh, a friend of mine, her student sells, have you guys ever heard of min pigs? Like mini pigs? Have you guys ever heard of them? You guys ever heard of mini pigs? If you have, Give me a hands up or hearts or thumbs up or something. If you've not, the cuteness is like over. Drop my oldest half at school, walk to the post office, and then take Miss B to the park, and now I'm home. Well, you've had a very productive morning there, Tamara. So, my friend got some... Um, her student owns a mini pig farm. They raise mini pigs. And you guys, they are so cute. So cute. So I was asking her like all these questions because obviously no pigs, you think they're dirty and they stink and they like to roll around in the mud. And she's like, no, actually it's completely opposite. Like pigs don't like to be dirty. Did you know that? Pigs actually don't like to be dirty. They actually don't like to be muddy. They they actually like to be clean. I was like, shut the front door. Shut the front door. <laughs> Holly, have you seen them? Have you seen mini pigs? So she has a farm that she raises them. And my friend at work was talking about, she has three cats. And she was talking about possibly getting mini pigs. And I'm like, are you serious? You're really going to get mini pigs? She's like, I think I might. I'm going to ask and see if my husband thinks, you know, we can have some mini pigs. My friend has a mini pig as a pet. She thinks she's a dog. Yeah, so apparently, you guys, they are pretty cool little pets because... They get along with all animals. They love people. They are very friendly. They're sweet. Um, they're actually pretty good pets. Like, I would have never guessed a mini pig would be a good pet. Hi, Olive. 
I would have never guessed a mini pig would be a good pet. But that, to me, was like, okay, whatever. So my friend, my friend um, sent me a snap yesterday. You guys, she bought one. She has one in her house. Like, she sent me a video of her mini pig um, running around, not running around, like sitting there eating um, food out of a bowl next to her cat. Second is the min mini pig mini. Then a year later, it's a big pig. No more mini. Uh-oh. But they can get up to like 70 to 90 pounds, though. Uh, okay, so maybe I'm not understanding this right, but she said that they stay little. Like, they don't get much bigger than whatever size. Like, that's the way they breed them, I guess. Sorry, guys, I gotta fix my camera here. Whoa, what is going on? Oh, lordy, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, she said that basically um, they stay little. And my husband said the same thing. He's like, Nick, they get to be big. I'm like, really? I'm like, why are they called mini pigs then? He's like, they get pretty big. And I'm like, I thought they stayed little. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe I'm not. They could be a micro pig. Those only have a five-year expectancy. Aw, that's sad. Um, okay. So my friend has a little mini pig than a big pig. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, okay, so you guys, I'm going to use some liquid lipsticks today to do the eye that you guys picked um, the other day. And I went through all of my palettes to try and find the colors that are going to work with this look. And it was really hard. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, it was really hard to find the right colors. Like I was having a really hard time finding these colors. Okay. So we're just going to start with one. Um, we're just going to start with one of the unique colors. I'm using more than unique today. You guys, this is hesitant. We're going to go with this pink first. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of this pink first. Have you a gray clore? What is that? What's a gray clore? What is that? I don't have any animals. All I have is a dog. That's what I have. I have a dog. I have a Boston Terrier. And I told my friend, I said, you know what? I don't need a pig because I have a Boston. I have you a gray color. Um, the color gray. Um, so my dog, my dog is a called a blue Boston. So she's actually like, like if you were to take her coat and shave her, she would be like this blue color underneath. I don't know. I didn't really even know there was a blue Boston. Hi, Allie. All right. So we're going to go in you guys with this color first. And this is what I did. I trying to pick colors. You guys, this is, this is real life right here. <laughs> I swatched so many colors on my hand and then took them off and then swatched them again. I was like, I don't know what color do you do? So we're going to take this color right here and it's called stately. And I am going to put it in my crease here. So the girl on the picture had her this was like pink up here, and then she had purple in the crease, and she had a dark blue, a medium blue, and then a light blue, or like a green color. So I have like all these colors, you guys. I don't even know. I don't even know. We're gonna just we're just gonna play and see what we get. Um, I'm super excited because my shine wipes came in yesterday. They were on back order, you guys, for the longest time, and I was so sad because I was having to use, um, another, I was having to use shy, not shy. I was having to use makeup wipes that I really don't like to use. And I was so sad because those shine wipes are the best. And I didn't realize how much I love them until I didn't have them anymore. All right, guys, so because this color is, because this color, these lipsticks are really pigmented, I will tell you if you're going to use lipsticks for your eyes, like you need to use just the slightest amount 
and like, you know, tap some of it, like rub some of it off before you put it on your eye or you're going to have like a big old mess and it's going to be really hard to blend. So how many of my peeps out there went to go see the Lee Bryce concert this weekend? I heard what happened was like, so it was at the Rock Crusher, uh, Rock Crusher Canyon. And the problem with the canyon is it's, it's a canyon. It's open. And when it rains, you get wet and it leaks. And yeah. So if you go to a concert, you know, and I guess the Lee Bryce concert is what happened was I had to buy makeup wipes from work. I ordered some time class. Hopefully I get them soon. I was so excited when they came in yesterday or Saturday, but I didn't even open them until yesterday. I didn't even know that's what they were. I'm like, what is this extra box? I'm like, oh, I don't have time. I'll open it later because I knew I didn't have any orders coming in. All right. So, so this is kind of like the pink she had. Hi, Melissa. So you guys, the concert, I guess, ended up getting like, <clears throat> it didn't get canceled, but it got delayed a little bit. And then I guess people were upset because it got so delayed. But you guys, the weather was so bad that night. Like it was windy. There was thunder. There was lightning. Like you can't, you know, and people were upset, I guess, because, you know, they wouldn't let them in and everything. And I'm like, well, would you rather watch a Lee Bryce concert and possibly get electrocuted? Or would you rather just wait it out and see what happens? I personally would just wait it out. That's me, though. All right, so, all right, so we got this pink color above our eyes, right? Then we're going to go in with um, this purple color, you guys. And she had the purple, like, right in the crease, and then it kind of came down like this. I don't know. We're going to see. I hope this turns out, because I could go to work after this. <clears throat> all right, so we are going to use... I'm just going to smudge it a little bit on my hand before I put it on my eyes. Okay, so that's the purple right there, you guys. Somebody remind me to take my... Hi, Bobby! Somebody please remind me <laughs> to take off all this swatching on my hand that I've done. All right, I'm just going to kind of try and keep this in the crease, you guys. So I'm going to put a little bit more on. This is a Morphe brush, you guys. This is a Morphe, I don't know what brush. Morphe something. 506. It's, it looks more purple in my mirror than it does in my camera. So... See if we can pick up more. Maybe we can use um <clears throat> see if we can get more on there. There we go. A little bit more purple on the crease. Oh, this eye is gonna be so like. It's going to be so purdy. It's going to be so purdy. I can't wait. <clears throat> it's cool. Thank you. You know what I think is really cool is that you can use these eye, these lipsticks as eyeshadows. That's pretty amazing. That I can do eyeshadow with these lipsticks. I highly recommend a primer though when you're doing these because one you want them to really pop and two these liquid lipsticks are really pigmented you guys so all right so she brought this purple in more like this v thing and we're gonna you guys i'm i'm just gonna clean it up with my concealer like i always do 
She looks like she had tape on there, which I think is what she she did have tape on there. It's crazy, right? When I look when I look at these colors and then I look at the colors that are on there. I mean, obviously obviously you guys know it's filtered and it's like touched up perfectly and you know they photoshopped it so there's no mistakes but this is my inspo this that was my inspiration and this is my this is my creation okay that's kind of pretty i like that <clears throat> All right, so now you guys, she used um, a really dark blue on the end. So we're going to go with, you guys share this video. If you like what I'm doing, share my video, please. This color right here, and it is in the Morphe 35B palette. So we're going to use this one first right here. They don't have names. I don't know what they are. It's just the Morphe palette, you guys. And it's 35B. And I'm going to use one of Jordan Cope brushes. It's a, um, it's like a flat brush. So I'm going to see if I can really pack on that color a little bit. Like she had it on the video, on the picture. She had it. Hi, Cheryl. How are you feeling? She had it like right in the end like this. Okay. It was really a dark blue. So this is the closest I have and I think this is pretty much money right here. I was searching far and wide for this color. I'm like, I don't have a dark navy blue. How do I not have a dark navy blue in any of my eyeshadows? But I found one in my Morphe palette. <clears throat> not so odd, I'm worried about my foot. I feel like I should get a second opinion on it. Um, what happened? Did you, did you fall or something? What happened? All right, you guys, so this is like really close to the edge. Like it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't so much um, go in very far. So I'm just going to kind of like make a V on this like that. <clears throat> I feel like a uh, gem. You know who Gem is, right? Back from like the 80s. That's what I feel like right now. <clears throat> Hi, Chris. No, Oak Hill says it's an allergic reaction. My foot is swollen and big blisters popped up and they are just getting bigger. So they just said it's an allergic reaction. Well, if they gave you Benadryl and stuff, it shouldn't, it should have gone down. Love that show. Me too, girl. Oh my gosh. Gem was like, best show when I was a kid my my favorite was um my favorite was my little pony that was my favorite show and Care Bears those are my two favorites okay so this that color there then she put on a lighter blue in the middle it hasn't been taking Benadryl like candy. Yeah, that's weird, Cheryl. Then the, I would definitely get a second opinion because if you're taking Benadryl, it should lower your... Um... We're going to use this one right here. This is called Thankful. Um, it should lower your swelling. Like, you shouldn't be swelling like you... If you're still swelling like that, that's not right. Something is not right, my dear. I think you need to go get checked out. Yes. Okay. And she did like this blue like this. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, this, this eye is going to be like so crazy. It's going to be super pretty. I'll send you a private message after this video. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so. And I'd, I'm going to have to blend these two together. I want that line. Just message me after your live is over. I know you work in a hospital. Yeah, girl, I do. I get lots of messages about medical stuff. People wanting my opinion about things. Oh, you guys, I'm liking this so far. It's super pretty. So let's go into this one. And let's just blend this one in this way. What are you guys thinking? Do you like it? Do we like it so far, you guys? Oh my gosh. I think this is one of my favorites now. I wasn't sure I was really going to like this. And now I'm loving it. Mm-hmm. These eyes are going to be on fire. These eyes are going to be on fire today. I'm going to be taking like a million selfies today, guys. <laughs> I'm wondering if it has anything to do with me having a C-section two weeks ago. Hmm. I don't know. Um, Cheryl, I'm not sure because... I don't know about the blisters. I mean, your feet could swell from the from the pregnancy and all that, but I don't know about the blisters. The blisters make me nervous. That that sounds something different. I definitely get a second opinion. Oh my gosh, you guys! Wait till you see the last color I'm gonna use. You're gonna be like, oh, oh yes, yes, queen, yes. This is so freaking pretty. <clears throat> My eyes are going to be popping today. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Now, my last color for my last uh, trick. <laughs> All right. For my last trick. We're going to go in, you guys, with the, I'm using like three palettes, a little bit of everything. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette, you guys. This palette is so pretty, so pretty. So I'm going to use this, and we're going to use this color right here. It is called Pool Party, this one right here. So we're going to take that brush again and pick up that teal color. You guys see it's like teal? It's teal. And we're going to put that teal color right in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Seriously, this is so pretty. Oh, I've never done it. I've never done an eye like this. And I have to say I am in love right now. Cuz this is gorgeous. Ooh, you guys. It's so pretty. So so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I want some more of it. Mm-mm. I'm going to start picking, I'm going to start picking more crazy 
I'm going to start picking more crazy colors for you guys to pick from. We need to do some more crazy eyes. <clears throat> whoop, whoop. O. M. Freaking G. It's like, it's almost like, like the way it was blended, it almost looks like holographic. Right? And this brush, where's Jordan? Hold on. I have to invite Miss Jordan because this is her... This is her brush. These are her brushes. And all right, Jordan needs to see this brush. This brush is amazing for packing on color. I'll tell you guys that right now. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Guys, I am so in love with this. This eye right now. I feel like a mermaid. I feel like. I feel like I need to have a tail and if you guys watch that new show, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Siren. Have you guys watched that new show, Siren? It is a show about, uh, mermaids. It is a mermaid type, um, series. I don't know. It, it, I haven't really, I didn't watch it yet, but I heard it was pretty good. And I was all excited because it was about mermaids. So I was like, like, that sounded fun. Siren, no, not yet. Looks interesting, though. Have you seen the previews for it? I'm going to add a little more pink, you guys. Just a little bit more pink up here. So when I clean this up, it looks really sharp. So we're going to do a very simple lip, you guys because this eye is out of control. Oh my gosh, like I love this. I'm gonna have to take, I'm gonna have to take so many selfies. This is so pretty, you guys. <gasps> it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Oh, let me have some more of my coffee. I'm almost done, I'm almost done with my coffee fee. Okay, let's clean it up. Let's make it look really sharp and nice. And um, she didn't have a wing, so we're not gonna do any wing. But um, yeah, we need to definitely, we need we definitely need to do some more of these like crazy pretty eyes. I used to do, back before I started Unique, I used to, when I had like Urban Decay and all those other crazy palettes, I used to do crazy colors in my eyes all the time. And then I kind of stopped and got back into like neutrals, which I never ever did neutrals because people wanted to see neutrals. And then I got stuck in neutral land. And then I'm like, no, I like color. Like I like my eyes to like pop, you know? So. Hi, Courtney. Courtney, I have got to say you look so amazing. Courtney is on a weight loss journey and she looks fantastic. So mm, kudos to you, Miss Courtney. All right, we're going to put this underneath my eye just like this. And then I'm going to clean it up with my brush. Okay. <clears throat> and drag it down this way and then Bring it up underneath. Here's where. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is just, I can't. I can't. This is so pretty. I need somebody to take a screenshot of this and then send it to me. <clears throat> All right. So I'm just kind of lifting up like this and cleaning up underneath my eye and then sharpening up that edge like that. Um, in the picture, I think, she, I'm pretty sure she used tape because it was like a really sharp line. I used to use tape, you guys, but it's really bad for your skin because my skin is, your, your skin under your eyes is very, very sensitive and it's very thin. And the more you pull and, you know, tug on your eye, 
the more it ends up being like wrinkly later on, you know? Hi, Ta hi Taylor. Hi, Debbie. You guys share, share, share. Please share. This is this this look is amazing. Like I love this. I love the way this turned out. I think it's so pretty. I think it's like I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I don't want to take it off later. I want to keep it on now. Holy gorgeous. <laughs> I know, isn't it? Isn't it pretty? That was the um that was the picture you guys picked that you like the colors that I that I picked on that picture so this was the the um attempt at copying what that girl did on her Instagram or Pinterest whatever it was but hers was like you know like I said before like hers was more obviously edited and like you know you know the reason why I do this, you guys, the reason why I do those like Pinterest inspiration things is because I want you to know that those pictures aren't real, right? They're like perfectly edited so that they look absolutely flawless, no mess ups, like that's not real life, right? So I like to do these because I want you to see what the realness is compared to what the edited version is. I mean, I could go back and Photoshop this picture, you know, take this picture, Photoshop it and make it look like, you know, like her picture, but then it's not real. And you, I want you guys to try, if you're going to try and create something on your own, I want you to do it and know that you can do it. It's not something that's not attainable because you just saw, I just did it. All right. Um, now that I kind of cleaned up the sides, I'm going to actually put some of that perfect um, that dark blue that I used on the Morphe palette. And I'm just going to kind of try and run it underneath here. Not too much. I don't want to do it too much. Okay. Just a little bit. And then I kind of want to do what accidentally happened over here. <laughs> I'm going to take that blue color, the pool color that I used, and I'm just going to kind of run it underneath here on this side. I send the pictures. Let me know what you think. Okay. I'll look at them as soon as I'm done, Cheryl. Snorch your dog. You can hear her snoring, can't you? She's literally on the other side of the room, you guys. That's how loud she is. This is why my husband is always like, I'm going to go sleep on the couch. Because <laughs> he's so loud. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Your eyes look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. This is like my favorite look by far. I'm going to start getting more of those crazy looks and doing these like really pretty crazy looks because I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I actually just started wearing makeup again, but I'm not as creative as you are. Um, you know what, Cheryl? <sighs> It just comes with, like, I, I do a lot of stuff, though, like, a lot of inspiration comes from Pinterest um, or, like, Instagram, because, speaking of Instagram, if you guys aren't following me on my Instagram, I try and put different pictures than I do on my Facebook, so if you go on Instagram, you should, you can follow me on there. Um, but, yeah, I try and do things like, you know, different stuff, whatever I feel, you know fun, whatever. Like, this is obviously just a fun eye. Like, no neutralness here today, guys. This is just a fun, 
fun eye look. See how many people ask me, or see how many people say oh, they like my eyes today. Very cool, this color, it's amazing. Haha, uh -huh, I hear the dog now. <laughs> yes, she is very loud. She is very loud. And you guys, it's it's funny because like my husband will be like, you know, I'm gonna go sleep on the couch because the dog's so loud. And between you and the dog, like I can't go to sleep. And I'm like, um, let me just say, when I'm sleep, when I come to bed and you're already in bed, you guys are like a symphony back and forth. So let's not go ahead and point fingers, okay? Because you're just as bad. <laughs> she is. She she is. That's why I said I do not need a mini pig because I have my dog. And my Boston is definitely a little piggy. She definitely, definitely, definitely is my little piggy. I call her Miss Piggy all the time, too, because she's always snorting. And I was like, oh, I messaged you with a couple pics of you. Like, oh, I see your little messenger. Thank you. Here, I'll do this. Ready? Close my eyes and you guys screenshot that. How's that? So you can see. <clears throat> I'll give you a few seconds to screenshot. And meanwhile, you can listen to the dog snoring in the background. And I haven't even put on mascara yet. I haven't even put on mascara yet. I'm just doing some highlight. Just highlighting a little bit. That's all. That's all we're doing. Just highlighting. <clears throat> okay. Now, let's do some mascara. <laughs> Lila, you're so loud. Honey, be quiet. You're messing up my live, Lila. You're being loud. Watch, she'll get mad and she'll go. Lila. And you guys, it's so funny. When I tell her it's time to go, and she knows it's time for her to get up, and she's got to go in her cage, because she literally is like a vacuum cleaner. She will vacuum up everything up off the floor if I'm not home, and she'll just get sick, because she'll eat every little thing on the floor, and then she... Yeah, it's just not good. So, I, um, what are we at? Okay. Um, let's do, let's clean up the brows. I still got, I forgot I got concealer left on the back of my hand. Let's clean up these brows. And another thing you guys she's really funny about is in the bathroom... There's a, a bath mat on the floor and she likes to take the bath mat and she will legit take it and just claw at it till she can make her own little bed out of it. And then she, um, she'll bring it like over by the other side of the bathroom. Like she... She drags it on the other side of the bathroom, makes herself a little bed, and then lays on it because she loves to lay in the sun. And today it's kind of pretty overcast right now, so there's not much sun. But she likes to sit there and lay in the sun. So every morning when I get up and I have to take a shower, I have to kick her out and she gets so mad. Because I tell her, I'm like, okay, time to get off the bath mat. Mommy's got to take a shower. And she just kind of looks at me like she'll just lay there and look at me like, no. <laughs> I'm like, get your little butt up. And so I go to move her and she's like, <laughs> she doesn't growl. She is not a mean dog. She does not have a mean bone in her little body. My kids are so rough with her sometimes and she just, just keeps doing her thing. She's a good, she's. Like, if I could ever <clears throat> recommend a breed of dog that I would say would be the best for kids, Boston's are number one on my list. 
because I've had a lot of dogs. I've been, um, we've always been a dog family. Like we've always had dogs since I was little. We had a Airedale Retriever and he was just way, way too hyper, high strung for kids. Like he was just crazy. And he bit my brother when he was younger. My brother put his head in the dog's food dish, which probably wasn't the best idea. But um, the dog bit him and he got stitches because he he bit him. And then um, he never bit me. But we were playing one time and he was just jumping up and down and he was super excited and he jumped up and he caught his tooth like right underneath my neck. But he didn't he didn't bite me. I don't want to say he bit me because he didn't bite me. But, you know, and he was just really hyper, very, very high, strong dog. And I loved him. His name was Paisan. And that in Italian means, you know, friend or like my buddy, you know, so we named him Paisan. He was a cool but he was way too hyper, way, way too hyper for our, so we ended up, um, having to say goodbye. We had somebody else adopt him because he was just too much for us. We couldn't, couldn't take him anymore. But, um, then we had a Pomeranian black palm. His name was Shadow. He was pretty cool. He was very cool. He he would um he wouldn't really snap until he got older and then he got very like cranky. You know, he liked to he didn't like to be bothered a lot. So, you know, we were kids and we wanted to bother him and he would he wouldn't bite us, but he would like you know, he'd do one of those like rah, rah. But he ended up having um can't remember if he had cancer or what it was, but I think we I think he had cancer and we had to put him down. He was like 13 years old when we when we had to put him down. It was sad, but and then now um my mom and dad haven't gotten another dog after that. And then now I have I had um I had a black lab named Missy. She was 12 when I had to put her down. You know, that's the hard thing about when you get a, an animal, you know, you, there's always a time when you're going to have to say goodbye to them. And it's, it's so sad because they become a part of your family, you know, and it's like losing a family member. And I've never been as close to a dog as I have been to my, my Boston. Like she's my girl. She's my, she's my little, she's my little shadow. She follows me everywhere. She's my little buddy. And she's just the sweetest little thing. Great little personality on her. All right. Hold on. Got to separate these lashes. They're not separating for some reason. It's a little better. Okay. So we're just going to put Epic on, you guys, because these eyelash, I mean, these eyes are just so popping. I'm just going to do one coat. I'm just going to do Epic. And I'm just putting a few coats of it on, that's all. No 3D. But I hope you guys really like this eye as much as I do. I feel it's very... Very uh, eye-catching, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, jeez. So pretty. Oh, thank you, Tamara. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad I could recreate it because I was getting a little nervous. I'm like, I cannot find this blue anywhere. 
And then I popped open one of my Morphe, my old Morphe palettes, and I'm like, oh, that's the color right there. I was so excited because I did not have that navy color anywhere in my stash. Nowhere in my stash did I have that color. I was like, really? And I was thinking like how I'm going to mix colors to make that blue. And I was like, oh, this is not going to be good. Not going to be able to do that same look. But we did it. 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 I curled my hair today, guys, because it's rainy outside. And as you saw on my story the other day, I got stuck outside. And the, the worst part was, like, I saw the storm coming and I knew we were going to get, I was like, all right, let's get in the car. And I had both the kids and they were in, um, in a shopping cart and I was trying to get them out and the rain's coming. My son's like, I can't move. I'm too cold. I'm like, no, get out quick. He would not get out of the seat. I had to like lift him up out of the seat while I was like getting soaking wet. And it was horrible. So I finally got him out. My daughter was in the car getting her seatbelt on. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I was just literally like soaked. I could not. And then I couldn't get warm because I was like wet and I couldn't get warm. You pulled it off and it looks beautiful. I thank ya. Now we gotta clean up all this crazy mascara we messed up here. There we go. All right, let's clean this up. Say bye-bye, mascara. See you later. Hasta luego. El finis day. Bye. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Lips real quick. We're going to put some pouty lip liner on. I'm going to keep this super neutral. Okay. Super neutral. So we're going to do stellar liquid lipstick here, you guys. Super neutral. We don't want to do too much because these eyes are just, these eyes are enough, right? We don't need more. All right. A little bit of setting spray to set the makeup. I'm back. That looks absolutely gorgeous. I thank you, my dear. Um, so, we used a few different palettes today. We used some Unique. We used some Jaclyn Hill. We used some Morphe. We just kind of played around with some some different colors today. So I hope that this was fun for you guys because it was fun for me. Um, I'm going to have to actually, like I said, I'm going to have to start picking some more challenging looks like this so to try so you guys can challenge me. Because I like that I could use my creativity and just try and um, get some inspiration off of somebody else and then try and make it my own. So... I really enjoyed this. This look right here is probably one of my absolute favorites um, I think I've ever done. So if you guys like it, share. Um, if you want to, you can always hit that button down there and hit follow me. If you hit the center of the screen and there's a little button on the right hand side and it'll say following, that means you're following me. If it says follow, click on follow and that way you'll catch when all my lives are. I typically go live every day around 12 o'clock um, and then um, usually uh, usually that's that's usually my live times 
I usually don't go live any other time um, unless I have to be at work early or I have to be at work later. So I will tell you guys Wednesday I will not be live because um, I have to work early and then I have something to do that evening. So I probably will not be live unless I get on and do like a pop-up live or something. But if I do, then that means you, that's why you guys have to follow me so you know when I'm going to go live. So um, if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and message me. If you like any of the thing I did my face, you can send me a message. I'll tell you where to go for the Morphe kit and the Jaclyn Hill palette too. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and be blessed and bless everyone else around you. Okay. All righty. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.